Here's your weather on the threes. All right, everyone, one quick last look at that forecast here. Let's get through today first, and we'll talk about those storms once again. 73 for your high today, and we're going to see these clouds picking up as we get further and further into the afternoon and the overnight. Be mostly cloudy by the time we get to the evening today. Still, though, temperatures are going to be on the warmer side, 73 degrees with winds from the south. Those are going to be coming in at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. It's set up day today, starting to get the atmosphere ready to see all of the, the thunderstorms that are going to roll through here on Friday and the Storm Prediction Center is still talking about an enhanced risk for some severe weather. A lot of that is just down over towards the west, but we're not out of it in central Acadiana and even western parts of Acadiana are seeing that uh, that enhanced risk zone enter the region as well. It's been very consistent over the last several days, which is a sign of growing confidence in, in a pretty widespread event coming through. The issues that we're going to have to pay attention to and the threats to Acadiana, the big ones are going to be damaging wind and the possibility for some tornadoes as well. That's going to be Friday overnight headed into early Saturday morning. There is the potential for a little bit of hail, although that is a little slimmer. I don't think flooding going to be an issue with this system. While the rainfall when it comes down is going to be very intense and heavy, it is not going to last all that long. So let's run through the models here. We'll see the clouds build as we go through the day today and into tomorrow. Few streamer showers are going to be out there through tomorrow morning and afternoon. If we can catch some of those showers, I now looks like it's a little further to the east, but if that drifts westwards a little bit, that could actually help us out. That could stabilize the atmosphere a little bit. That could cool us down just a tad bit, and that could help when that front eventually does swing through. On the other hand, if we get the skies to clear a bit, we get a little sunshine, then that will destabilize things. That's what I'm going to be watching for tomorrow. Keep an eye on dew points as we get into tomorrow night as well. That's another big indicator this time of year. Front swings through late in the night. Early Saturday morning could be producing winds of about 50, 60 miles an hour. The good news is, is it all should be clearing up by mid-morning, early afternoon.